Oh no. It's been half past nine. And the pool is still snoring. Can you hear him? Snoring, you fibber. <laughs> you were. But the most important thing is the kettle's on. Coffee time and Mr. Morgan's up. <laughs> Looking splendid in there. Uh... <laughs> oh, please get a haircut, Sue and Do I look beautiful like one of your French women, Jack? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Are you going to get a haircut soon? We get a lot of people asking if Paul's going to get a haircut, and he's been a bit stubborn at the moment, aren't you, Paul? I'm not being stubborn, but I'm just thinking, you know, the longer I go, on the floor. The okay. longer I go, the more you can laugh at me every morning because my hair looks like that. <laughs> so we're just enjoying our morning coffee, aren't we, Uncle Man? Well, it's all gone. Oh, you better put the kettle on again then. But while we're doing that, while Paul's sat there reading the news, etc., I'm uh, working on our new website, which we're really excited about. I only clicked today that I could use my um, mobile hotspot because the actual site doesn't have Wi-Fi. Well, it does have Wi-Fi, doesn't it, apparently, Paul? It has it by the games room, but we went up there and we couldn't, um, yeah, couldn't pick anything up. So just so you're aware, if you are coming to Townsend, there isn't any Wi-Fi, but there is quite good 4G signal, isn't there, on EE? So look, we're working on our, our new website, which we're really excited about, aren't we, honey? Oh, yes. <laughs> As you can see... Well, so excited. Let me just put my glasses on so I can carry on working as well. Yes. That'll be the day. <laughs> you say it was called Facebook, or yes. Sky Sports. <laughs> Sky Sports. Yeah, so, um, yeah, happy days. And then we'll uh, start getting the breakfast on. Well, that's the rule, isn't it? Al's very good. Yes. He uh, gets Chef his... Alan. Chef Alan. Chef Alan Green. Um, and Al's happy. happy. <laughs> Always. If you didn't catch the previous episodes, Townsend Touring Park is situated in North Herefordshire in a beautiful little village called Pembridge. If you do want to catch up on our previous episodes, click the link at the end of this video. So the pan is on, I can smell it. Hal's been hard at work obviously. What about you Paulie Morgan? Yeah, hard at work, yeah. Doing some blogging. Oh yeah? No. <laughs> <laughs> and here's Charles. Morning, Charles. And Sky and Holly Dolly. How good does that look, Paulie Morgan? Looks pretty good to me. I oh. don't know what everybody else is having mine, but. <laughs> <laughs> right, so it's day two of Alan Green's fishing extravaganza. <laughs> yes, um, I think there's a programme on the television about these massive fish that people catch with their own fishing. This wouldn't be a part of that program. <laughs> so we're just back over to the fishing lake to see how Al's getting on. He's been over here, what, 10 minutes? Yeah. So um, he's picked a different part of the lake this time by the lily pads. So he's hoping for a, a more productive day than yesterday, do you I'm think, Paulie? Really? catch a frog if he's by the lily pads. <laughs> but... So let's go and see. There he is, look. And Uncle Dean and Charles. He doesn't look like he's got a really, really happy face, does he, Paul? Can you gauge it? The concentration. That little Charlie looks really happy. Yeah, Charlie's happy to see us. Any luck, Greener? No. <laughs> ah, hello, Charles. <laughs> ah, so we're by the lily pads. Let's see how we get on with this. Right, we have success. Alan Green has caught his first fish. Ah! <laughs> what is it, Al? It looks like a little carp of some description. Baby carp. Oh, pop him back in then. Not in the grass. Action at the lake. What's Paulie doing? Getting that one out of the way? What is it? Ooh! Oh my god! Oh my god! He's big! Oh, how big's that? <gasps> Exciting times at Townsend Farm! <laughs> Woohoo! What's 
that, Charles? Ah, uh, what is it? Big metal, don't let it jump. <laughs> and Charles, no. Oh. Charlie, no. Sit down. Let me have a look at his face. Oh, hello there. Hello. Oh, bless. What is it, Al? Mirror, I think. Mirror oh, card. Well done. Bye bye. Well, that was exciting. <laughs> Technically, I caught it really. Well, I mean, it's you talk, you caught it because you had the net. Yes. <laughs> I'm just going to see the cogs turning over in Charlie's head. Yes. <laughs> what was that? That was a big one. It's all going on here, Dean. Oh, is it? Oh, the lines broke. The monkey got choked and we all went together in a little Oh, sorry, sorry, peeps. False alarm. There you are. This is the uh, the realistic side to Carol's hard work and blocking. As you can see, she's um, working vigorously on the next block. But hey, it's tough at the top, isn't it? What do you say, Charles? Hey, what do you say? What do you say about it all? Well, you're no one couple. So the man next to us is getting out this biggest pole we've ever seen in the one walking. He's got the media legs, we've got about as much as you can if you want to join Oh. Still coming. How do you wheel it in there now? Oh, okay. We're learning so much about fishing, aren't we, Pauline Morgan? What have you learnt so far? It's thirsty work. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. We've learnt all about bait. Length you do of rods. That you're not pointing that thing at me, don't you? Yeah, I do. <laughs> I'm looking to show because I'm showing people that man's big rod. Would you rather it was looking at you look? No, not at all. So what have you learned? Maybe if you hashtag that man's great big rod, we might get more views on our YouTube channel. Mm, maybe. <laughs> what hashtag big rod? Yeah. <laughs> maybe we might um, attract the, the wrong the wrong clientele. Yeah. Mm, don't think we'll be doing that. Anyway, back to Al's little rod. Fishing afternoon's done now. Yes, it was. Um, we're absolutely exhausted from yeah, it. So it's hard work. <laughs> Time for a snooze, I think, in a yeah. Morgan. Well, fair play to Al Green. He's caught two. One very small, one went very big. But he's had two. Three. Wow, well, three, three gone. Three, three got away. Three so, um, yeah, but life by the lake is pretty cool, isn't it? Very, very peaceful and lovely. So, yeah, so we're off to our. Um, we like to have a snooze when we wake up, don't we, Paul? You like to have a snooze every day of your life. Uh, no, I don't when I'm working. But I'm sure you find a little like disused ward at the hospital here. <laughs> <Just> sneak in. <laughs> no, I did not. Anyway, so let's uh, shall we wander back yes. and see what this evening brings. Yes. So it's that time of day, nap's over and it's chore time. So let's go and see what Polly Morgan's up to. He's got his O's out. What are you doing, Paulie Morgan? Well, I'm doing two things. I'm uh, replenishing the water in the flash. I'm also going to top up the, the water tank. That's the beauty of this site, though, isn't it? As you can see, we've got a hose coming to fill up our water so you don't have to... If you watched our Luxor videos, you'd have seen 
um, that we were had to fill up a big drum, didn't we, with water and carry it on Paul's little trolley. Um, but here we've got a hose that's just about the right length if he feeds it under the under the tire. He pulls it out. Perfect. Which then goes straight. Yeah, so this is fresh water. Just so much easier than carrying a water end on a trolley. As you can see, it's just come on. So we pay for our pitch. We've got electric hookup, water hookup, and we've got waste, grey wastewater, which is unusual in England, isn't it, Paul? Well, we've not seen that before. If you can see the grey wasters there. Um, and how much do we pay per night, Paulie? So 20, 28 pound a night. Yeah, and we are in August, so it's peak season. Um, but as you can see, there's not, you know, we're not packed in, are we? It's nice that we've got, you know, from our neighbours, we've got some behind us here, um, with the tents and that, but it's actually really, really good, isn't it? This here, there's nothing going to go in here because there's no electric, there's no water, and no it's an access area, area isn't it, to get to the back? Space. Yeah. I mean, we've come over quite a bit to be closer to Natan Island Deep. But, yeah. Um, but we, yeah, you can see by the marks on the grass, we could go on right on over there if we wanted to. Yeah. Which we're doing a bit silly, really, because we've been like waving yeah. in the distance. Yeah, so this is filling up so we get all our water for washing and kitchen and showering. bathroom, showering. So we don't have to use any of the facilities on the on the site. But if you can see over there with the lights on, that is where the, the shower block is. So everything's very convenient, isn't it, Paul? Yeah, so then once you've uh... pinched your hose. And this is for the flush. So Paul's just so been already, over. So I've already put my pink in. So you've got your pink stuff for your flesh, which does what, Paul? All it does is just, um, just makes it sort of a bit of a fresher... Ambiance. Ambiance when you're flushing. <laughs> you don't need to put the pink no. in there. But, but obviously we've got a cassette-type toilet, um, which Paul's just emptied, which is very straightforward, isn't it, Paul? Yeah. I think it's... You see an <laughs> so that's the story of the water. Anything to add about water and motorhoming, honey? Um, well, it's, um, it's wet. No, <laughs> no, but that people might find useful. I mean, we don't personally don't drink water straight out of the tank. Some people do, but we just use ours for washing. Washing it, we use it for putting the kettle up, which obviously we boil. But some people they put like special sanitizer in the tank so they can drink it right straight out. But you throw a bottle of water anyway, so uh, yeah. So that's the story of the water. You don't have to stay here and watch me fill it right to the top. Okay. <laughs> If you are on site and are looking for information regarding the local village or the farm shop and the speciality butchers, this information is available just inside the entrance of the shower block. There is also information about the other local villages that are part of the black and white village trail. So it's Paul's night off cooking tonight, isn't it, Paulie Morgan? He's got his box of planters. Do you want to have an exhaust rubber in there for me? Oh yeah, we've lost the rubber off our exhaust, which says worse than it is. Does it pull or is it? Yes. <laughs> okay. I still want to have dinner. Yeah, I think good. It's supposed to be five or six. <laughs> anyway, so Al in has got his chicken satay on the go, aren't you, Al? So chicken satay, and what we're gonna have with it is I'm doing some. Uh, different greens which I've put with garlic and butter and pepper we're going to do some um, crispy pork which we prepared before roast pork with honey and I'm just about to smash up a cabbage so I'm going to have a stir fried cabbage with garlic and oil and most importantly as a chef should always have some oyster bay it's probably more than that <laughs> so yeah so looking forward to looking for Return. I'm going to smash up the cabbage. Well, I'm not sure, but that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> so, cheers. So, you know, I was talking about Paul not 
fixing things often, it's such a celebration he's put the rubber on the exhaust that Al's got a bottle of bubbly out. Ah! Oh, twist in the bottle, good boy. Pop! <laughs> That was a bit of an anticlimax, wasn't it? Yeah, I think me fixing these horses more exciting. Cheers! <laughs> For some reason, that now's awning's gone a bit wonky. <laughs> so trying to sort that out, and unfortunately, the rain has come. Only spitting at the moment, but that's a bit disappointing, isn't it, Paulie? Yeah, it wasn't. I know, I burnt the pork. I know, disaster with the pork, but the satay was amazing. Satay, which you didn't cook, was yes, and I didn't take a video of it. No. <laughs> I did. Ah, oh, dear, but there we are. But no, spit in the rain. Um, but there we are. What can we do about the weather? Nothing. So we're going to sit and have a few drinks, a bit of a yarrup, and that's about it, isn't it, Paul? I think so. So that's another day done in Townsend Touring Park. Time's going far too quick. And Paulie's are all snuggled up in bed. What are you watching? I'm watching the third series of Good Girls on Netflix. Oh. It's very good. Yes. We haven't got a telly in here yet. We're going to put one in, aren't we? Hopefully in that corner there, we think. Um, sometimes it's good well, to get away from the telly, though, wouldn't yeah. it? Yeah. It'd be better to have it in that corner than that corner. Like, you wouldn't be able to see it. That's true. So, um, so there we are. So another day over Punky Mall. Yeah, very relaxing day by the fishing lake this afternoon. Very mm, enjoyable. Yeah, total chill out. Yeah. Tomorrow. The best things to do is nothing at all. Exactly. So tomorrow we plan to go into Urdus Land. Urdus Field, Urdus Land, Urdus something. Yes, which is just down the road from here, which we have to drive to, which yes. is a few minutes away. But a but beautiful it's a... little old school village. Yeah. With a river running through the centre of it. Yes, it should be very nice. Hopefully we get the get the weather. Yeah, we've had some rain tonight, but um, who knows? Yes. Anyway, I'm sure we'll have a good day. Mm -hmm. Good night. Good night. <laughs>